please pardon any background noise that you will hear. Now I know that backyard gardening is very popular all over the world. You know, many homeowners, you know, are now starting or establishing their, their own backyard gardening. And I also have my own um, little kitchen garden, you know, our backyard garden. And I'm basically growing tomatoes as you can see and I'm growing I have this mint right here growing nicely and I have this basil plant and this is an hydroponic system right and I was basically scouting I was here in the garden earlier this morning I was doing some chelicing so I was uh, the, the tomato plants they are basically off on height now where they need support vertically so I was setting up the doing the chelicing for them right and I visited this plant, this is a basil plant, and I basically saw this, right? Um, if you notice, I basically cut it, I remove it from the, from, the, from the plant, right? So if I put it back there, and if you notice, it looks very different from the other um, branches, right? And... If you look closely, you will see that it is very curled up and mottled and so on. Now, all I've done here is I basically just removed this, this um, growing point or this branch or this stem from the, from the main plant because I'm not seeing this on any of the other. Um, if you can see, I'm not seeing it on any of the other shoots, right? And it has multiple shoots going, going up. I'm not seeing anymore so I just basically remove it so upon closer inspection right um, I'll just stay in the sun here because I am having better lighting right here you, you 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 what you need to do is when you see something like this happening with your basil plant you need to open the the leaf right and look if you see any insects right but let me just put this um, branch on a table and, and show you what I'm talking about right so I've basically opened up the, the, the leaf right and as you can see um, we have aphids right aphids and white fly as well the black looking ones those are aphids as well um, the yellow looking ones those are aphids the white looking stuff that you are seeing those are white flies right so basically aphids as you can see that one crawling aphids they are sucking insects white flies they are sucking insects so what they do when they when they basically infest the plant they basically start basically infest infesting or start their infestation on the underside of a leaf so basically what basically what they'll do is they'll suck the sap right so so in other words they'll suck the leaves and the leaves will become curled and, and, and mottled and uh, you know distorted and will give you you know it, it, it is not marketable or you as a homeowner or as a backyard gardener will not will not you will not cut this 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 branch to, to make tea or to do anything with it right um so once you are seeing this when you are growing your basil first thing you need to do is just check under the leaves right because chances are it is being infested by insects and as i just showed you it could be aphids or white fly or both basically so what i've done is because because the rest of the plant is not um infested um with the aphids right or i'm not seeing any 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 other branches looking like this all i did was just remove this branch so just by removing this branch you have reduced the population of aphids and white flies significantly right so what you need to do after now is just see if you can do a follow-up spray spray the plant right um, if you are on the organic side you basically can spray it neem oil or dipel um you know um, find some organic spray that you can pick up right um, and if you're on the synthetic side you can you can find sevens you can find you can find a few others 
um, that you can spray on the plant, right? Um, to just to just ensure that you don't the the, the aphids and the wildfly population um, doesn't continue. And of course, what you'll need to do is just spray the rest of the plants. So when I'm going to spray this plant, I'm going to just spray the other plants as well because chances are they basically transfer from this plant to that plant. So, so if you are a backyard gardener or farmer, commercial farmer, or whatever it is that you do, this should be a very useful tip for you. So as I said, once you see your basil plant looking like this, first thing you do is just look under the leaves um, for any insects and so on, right? And then all I've done is just break off this, this branch, as I said, and I'm going to discard of this, right? So I hope this tip was helpful.